going on guys your boy fight joe jr you know what i'm saying yeah yeah all right um first and foremost i would definitely like to thank all my subscribers all my new subscribers for um for subscribing i truly do appreciate it um blessings to you all um as i said i still have a lot in the gas tank still got a lot coming I hope you guys stay tuned because it's going to be good, some good stuff. Um, what this video is about is basically the Samsung Indulge for Metro PCS. Now, I did read the message where somebody, I, I, I can't recall his name or her name, whoever it may be. Um, they said that the LG Bryce will be releasing somewhere around November or in November um, and I did do some research on that and so far it seems to be true um, it's not guaranteed but yeah it seems to pretty much be true um, supposedly it has a 4.3 inch screen it will come with 2.3 uh, gingerbread um, instead of uh, Froyo um it sounds good and chances are you know if I could get that with 4G versus getting the Evo 3D on boost with just 3G because you can't use 4G on boost mobile um I might just do that I don't know you know by then I might have more money in my pocket not sure to be quite honest so you know, I would have to wait and see how that goes. So, as you can see, I do have a screen protector. Um, it looks like a mirror uh, screen protector, um, but supposedly um, it's supposed to be anti-prints uh, proof. It's not, not even a little bit. Um, it's supposed to be anti-glare. Um, when I went outside, I could still see, but it wasn't perfectly clear. But uh, I mean, as far as protection, definitely does the job um, well. Um, as you know, has the slide-out keyboard. Uh, I do have a clear case on it, um, you know, the two pieces. Um, stay tuned for my sister's unboxing. She has an unboxing coming up that she wants to do on my channel. Um, please, all positive comments. You know, she's a cool young kid, um, so she wants to do an unboxing of her um, new phone and her new case and so on and so forth, and I'm going to bless that for her. But as far as my phone goes, my phone is rooted. I'm going to turn it on now. I do have a custom um, song that comes on instead of that Metro piece. Yes, hello, 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 that gay shit. Yeah, I, I got rid of that, and I put a custom power on. Hopefully, we'll be able to hear it. Okay, um, you guys probably didn't hear it. It's not loud enough. Um, it goes all right, partner. Let's keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. And dun, 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 which is the introductory of Limb Biscuits. Uh, uh, keep rolling um basically it boots super fast I mean look at that uh, that's my background um, I have the code on it let me just write that real quick okay only thing well this is with all phones when the phone first starts up it's usually pretty slow it's getting all the apps see as you can see it's loading I have my same setup basically that I had on my my touch um everything works the same um i am in fact rooted as you can see it's getting uh, super user permissions right there um that's my background theme is basically a smiley face with all kind of like uh stuff like um you know it says speed uh weed you know all of that stuff it's it's like a very happy happy theme um and I'm using 
I'm using beautiful widgets you know you guys know that I get down and dirty with that so definitely gotta use beautiful widgets you know it, it goes perfect tells me you know the weather everything and as far as the launcher you guys already know I use ADW EX ADW launcher EX version which is the paid version um custom clock um I do have you can't see it it's gonna be almost impossible to see but I also did which I haven't seen anybody else really do it um I customized my font and made my font customized um I basically I I basically did everything that I could do with my um, my touch I did with this I mean this phone is absolutely positively brilliant now as you guys know there is no custom kernel yet um, um, a couple of devs if I'm not mistaken three to be exact on Android forms are working uh, with Samsung to get a custom kernel and to make sure that everything's nice and working and once we get custom kernel then things such as overclocking and you know all those extra things and you know things that have to do with speed uh, the CPU that will be customizable once they release a custom kernel now as far as the actual rooting process I used Exodus um, look it up you'll find it I used his uh, ROM package which was very nice it roots the phone for you automatically it puts some little extras um, gets rid of all the bloatware which the only thing I don't like is that they got rid of Metro's App Store which comes with visual voicemail and I didn't get to get visual voicemail because ever since I got the phone and then activated it um, I basically rooted it right away um, my phone did in fact come with the update already installed meaning I didn't have to update my phone um, the way to know that if your phone is update is you go to about phone you go to um, okay so basically your baseband version should say LTE SCHRD10 ED15 and the CDMA should be R9 one zero point zero point four M point E E zero seven you probably can't see that's two point two point one um if your phone is not that then you're not updated I forget the other um the other uh thing that it originally came with the firmware what it's called because I never had it so I wouldn't know um, I do have all apps installed in this if you could see right there uh, these are all my apps oh shit so this is like root file system I have basically everything on this phone being watched um, that's where I um, you could change the boot animations now they said that if you try to mess with the boot animations it could possibly brick your phone so I personally don't mess with it everything works beautifully um, oh yeah uh, what's really good is um, I found a solution literally a solution for the bad battery you don't need an extended battery you don't need none of that extra bullshit and I think I've just finally found what's perfect I've tried I've tried green power um, battery saver I've tried uh, at least about seven and all of them have been unsuccessful some better than others but nonetheless they were not as effective effective as needed to fix a phone that has such a bad battery as this one I mean this is by far the phone with the worst battery I've ever had I mean the battery is horrible and then I finally found this program that I've always used and I never thought about it's it's actually in my 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 main screen it's right there in that corner it's the red thing it's called power max guys jump on this immediately 
you will thank me. You will say, Fat Joe, you are the man. Power Max absolutely saves the battery. I mean, it. once you turn it on, it's a clicker. I'll show you. Um, mine is the paid version. I got the unlock, so mine is the paid version. As you can see, you go into this menu right here. You switch the button on. Once you like literally click that, that red button, once you click it on, it shuts off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever you have on. It lowers the brightness. It turns off 4G. So some people give you that number, 355, something like that, that you could go and manually turn off. The, that, this program will turn off the 4G and everything for you. Once you turn that all of that off and you put it on sleep mode, it shuts down everything. I literally had my battery the other night at 85 percent and no charge I didn't turn it off I left it on had my 4G on everything Wi-Fi on I turned the switch on I clicked the phone off I went to sleep when I woke up my battery was literally at 83 percent 2 percent and literally and I slept for about 10 hours <laughs> 2 percent left okay so basically and then the beauty of it is just a click button so let's say if you're at work and you're not going to be using your phone because you're working, obviously. So you just switch that on. Once you get out of work or you say, oh, shit, I got to text my girl or whatever this, the situation may be. You just do that. It turns everything. Once you click it back, once you turn it off, it turns 4G back on. It does everything. Once you click it on, it turns over. It's perfect. It's the most perfect app. Now, I don't know how the free version works because, as I said, I have the pro paid version. Um, you guys know how I do. Um, also, something, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pro programs. Now, I have mobilism.com, um, which is basically, if you go to mobilism, that's where I use that download my uh, APKs. Um, thanks to mobilism for their assistance, right? I have their app, which basically puts all the APKs at your fingertips, and it makes it easier for you. But what's even more favorite than that um, is, is it's called the mobile spot. Now, if you don't have this, run immediately and get this app. It's a must. It's absolutely a must. It's basically like having. It's basically like having. It's basically like having the market, but with all the apps free, basically. It's 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 a wonderful 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 um, program. I tried to open it up and it forced closed. Um, I got to use my advanced. I usually don't like um, app killers because supposedly that makes your battery die faster. Um, but I think that for this particular phone, um, I used um, Advanced Task Killer Pro. Um, obviously paid for not the free one and that usually works pretty good for me so now I use that I cleared everything so now everything should start up perfectly as so so with that basically as you can see let me show you these are all the apps you go through them you know got all the apps that's the Tegra um, overclock app. You go to them. Then let's say, you, oh, you find something you want. You click on it, and it literally has um, all the apps. It has the app, and then it gives you a whole bunch of uh, download websites. You see them right there. And you just click on one of those. It'll take you to the browser. Got Mega Upload, Media Fire. It takes you to one of those. You download your app. You save it, and then you open it, and you just save it to your phone. It's that easy. Um, I also got Angry Birds Unlocker at Bat 11. So basically, all in all, and also, you got to get camera zoom FX. It's a must, because the camera on this um, phone does not have um, zoom or none of that. And with um, camera zoom FX, it allows you to have zoom. Zoom, for me, is a must with any camera, video recorder whatever you may call it um took my Xbox uh, stuff uh, in the corner got my emails basically I have everything I need at my fingertips with 4G speeds uh, excellent phone I rooted it once again 
uh, with Exodus. He's really good. Guys, it's your boy Fat Joe Jr. 2001. Please rate, comment, subscribe. You know, I got my Indulge customized fully. It's just fully, just, it's pimped out. You know, I couldn't expect any more from this phone. It does everything I need. Out of a 10, I give it about an 8.5. This phone is great. The batteries are crap. But with Power Max, that fixes all of that. Definitely, uh, I definitely recommend this phone. If you guys need any help with anything, you know your boy Fat Joe Jr. 2001 got you. Just uh, hit me up, email me, comment in the video, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible and help you out with rooting, apps, whatever you need. Just let me know. Your boy Fat Joe, good phone. Um, I'm really enjoying it. If anything else comes up, like a, a, a release of a ROM or kernel, I will make an update and I will let you guys know the, the 411, alright? Your boy Fat Joe, holla.